Hello everyone, welcome back. We are playing another episode, or the next episode, of Batman the Telltale series. We are on episode four. Um, right ahead of this, they're going to show you a, a little clip of what happens. So you're, you're caught up, so I'll shut up now and let you watch the... I guess the background on Guardians, Guardian of Gotham. Enjoy! I'll see you on the end, at the end there. I mean, if it wants to load anytime soon, that'd be kind of cool. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new Bat Tech. Go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena, I have to tell you how I. Bruce? You should. Wait, now hold on, I didn't punch him. What the hell was that? They changed history right there. That's not I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. That was also quite the revelation. Did you expect that? The lowly reporter being the one of the big bads in this game. Because when I initially played it, I didn't expect that. I was like, what? And then, because I thought I knew like a little bit. Well, I mean, I know a little bit about DC Comics. Like a passing knowledge, I, should, I suppose. I was like, Vicky Bell's never a villain. And I looked into it and... And yeah, you she's not. Not really. Sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Whoa. Now, did I do all that or did I just imagine doing that? That's what I really want to know. It's not Wayne Manor, I can assure you that much. Breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Well, there's a camera right there. I'm in my boxers. Um... Did I do that? He's walking slower than normal. Someone was angry. I think that was you. Lovely. Man, he is walking so slowly. Rusty cuts. That's what I had to put on, I imagine. And yeah, I'm under surveillance. Not creepy at all. Oh wow, that's a lot of blood. Arkham Asylum. Oh, this can't be man. happening. Well, you gotta put something on. I guess this will do. Some very fashionable. This can't be real. Attire that doesn't make me that doesn't make me look crazy at all Fine, I mean why do I have to open it don't they have to open it? I 
I need painkillers. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Or else they just put me in a cock full of blood. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Nope, I don't. Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Not really. Might as Did... well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, good. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm getting some Iron Fist vibes out of here. Look at that bullshit. As you were. Okay. You look Great. just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I'm still feeling some after effects from the thing, aren't I? I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Not a clue. Oh, all right. Well, that's not good. All right. Come on, Batman. I know you're drugged, but come on. Oh, I think I broke his foot. I heard a crap. Oh, that's not pleasant. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude! Churlish! Not nice! How do you like it? You are pathetic! Oh, okay. Maybe I found a friend. Maybe he's friendly. Or maybe not. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? Oh. Okay. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, I will. is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. I don't know if that was worse the or not. The that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Doc. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good it's thing not like I have much of a choice. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. Hopefully now, with some me. more security metrics as well. I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? I wonder why that is. We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know who this is. Everyone, everyone who knows Batman knows who that John is. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! 
Well, I am in the nut house, so I guess I gotta get used to this. You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! Whoa! I want to taste! <laughs> Does he have COVID? Did he test them properly? You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Noted. Why is that open? Why is that laggy? <laughs> ah, come on. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You I'm falling behind, come on. Teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well. Whoa, what the fuck? No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. <laughs> Well, he's kind of scary. Later. Don't worry about us, Doctor Leland. Take good care of him. I walked through that door. Did you see that? That glitched out. Huh? Maybe I'm not even alive. Maybe I'm dead. Maybe they killed me. They shot me on sight when I attacked Oswald Cobblepot. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not. Some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Just like you, huh? I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. <laughs> Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Most improved patient, you say, huh? Is okay. The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Then go for it. You do that Ooh, and... I almost forgot. Here. What is this? That's just a very strange key. We recognize the guy on the left right there, the big blue guy, right? Not sure why he's here. That's Billy. I don't want to talk to him. I'm going to talk to the people you may recognize, like... Victor Zaz over here. Get out of the way, Billy. Hey, man. How's it going? Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. So do you. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. Kid. That wasn't me. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. Say so you finished the job. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. That's the so yeah, every scar is a kill. That's one of the orderlies. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. I mean, Lewis, uh, I'll Lewis, talk to someone else. Hey, big guy. That man really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I saw the cookie cutter. Fine. You. I'll let him be for now. I did see the ventriloquist around here. There he is. Hello. Hello. Go away, Arnold's. Busy. Where's Scarface, huh? I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Uh, it's... Nice trick. 
Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery Whoa. hard. Why am I inside his face? So unless you have something important to say, get lost. Okay, okay. So yeah, that is Adventure Request. Hey there, buddy boy. Famous for carrying around Scarface, the puppet. I missed you. Cool. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Let's try the TNT and TVS. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he's so desperately needs. You're just mad I took Selena <laughs> from you. <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. Yeah, I'm still feeling the after effects. supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? Yeah. This isn't gonna be any fun if you just sit there. <laughs> what do you want me to do? In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Won't someone save my baby? This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Okay. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. I wonder why. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? What do you mean by that? What do you know? You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Not that way. Publicly point. and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'll consider well, it. It all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. From in here? And huh. I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. It was the drugs, nothing else. It wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. That's not a good thing. <laughs> too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Hold why on, would hold my on. father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. What do you know? 
How much do you Tragedy know? Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course, it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. I mean, the game's titled after Bruce, so why not? You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. What am I? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. That is true. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. Okay. But it's gonna come at a price. What's the price? When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. See, I know who uh, he is. I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. <laughs> right, tell you what. I'm going to make a distraction to get Poor the guards away Come on. from that I gate. Had to. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Uh oh, no. Ah! Oh, shit. No. no, 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 I don't match. Oh, God, I don't match. You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. I think you should run. Stop. Someone give me a sedative. Run, Brucey. Run. <laughs> Man, it's glitching out. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> Come on. He has a knife. Disarm him. Do it. Jesus. Fuck. He was gonna kill me. No. No, I need it. I need it. Damn it, Sam. Stop. Stop. No. No. I don't. Shit. He still has a knife. Move it. Oh, and he punched the lights out of me. He could have killed me. Seen in there. I was stopping stabbings. and shanking. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Oh, what the fuck? And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I was trying to stop it. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was that sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Yay, Alfred. Seems you have a visitor. Seems like I have someone picking me up. Thank you. Alfred. Ah, it's not Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah, I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Okay, Doc. I'm Let's not saying an Arkham Asylum. I already spent enough time in that lane in my last playthrough. Later, John. Ask the fails. 
ask her parents. Thanks for the tip. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I don't think that's the last we'll see of John Doe, quote unquote, there. Downtown Gotham. I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Nah, who well, cares about it? Certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. No, it doesn't. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. <sighs> Come Hello, on. Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Is that a threat? Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard. But the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. I paid for your shit, you remember. I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting Two assholes will like you that. You say the that? world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. It's your you will. Spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. See, I but fucking knew it. was a low blow, Bruce. It was. I will admit that. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. <sighs> All right. Bruce. No. Bruce. Can I just hang up on We're him? Done talking. Yep. Good idea. Good idea. Am I just gonna get stopped by the police? Oh my goodness! Am I a oracle? What's going on here? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There you go. That was unintentional. I promise. If you got it, good. If you didn't, well, oh well. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Um, Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Well, it doesn't look like I have a choice. Then. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or <laughs> the you'll hell? be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. Stay silent. I don't need that. Nothing to say, huh? Not all on camera, no. They should lock you up. Come on, oh, get him away God. from me. Hufford, I'm sorry. I don't. You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. What the fuck? Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? 
<laughs> what do you say? Do I only only have two choices? I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? I mean, Alfred's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Back up, back up, people. Bruce, hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of their lives. Keep back if you know what's good for you. You got out in less than 48 hours. Lord, Alfred. Ram the barricade. This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred. Hey! Fucking shotguns in the middle of the street, really? Ah, oh boy. That's gonna come back and bite me in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I got some stuff we need to talk about. That's Selena, by the way. I'm sure you can see it. It's fine. You don't need me repeating everything you see on screen, I hope. Because that's gonna be tiring. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Um, I mean... You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't I you got enough this? money. <laughs> Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... No. No. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. I mean, it didn't help. The night was a lot of fun, but not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Fine. I, uh, I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you going to go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Probably not. Of course. That's my car. See you I around. mean, I think it's better. All of this. That she leaves Gotham and away from Harvey and the children of Arkham, but I don't know how far she could get. From the children of Markham. And Harvey's just a very jealous ex boyfriend. Slash, were they even together or was it just fling? I don't know. But I still feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> oh well. And. I'm not gonna end it yet. Uh, probably this next section and then I'll call it, but. Still feeling a bunch of factor effects. Come on, man. There has to be something I can do. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. I don't have a choice. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. Bruce, you look awful. I know. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Hey, Lucius, how's Bring it going? everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. I mean, how long does Let's this thing affect you for? Scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. Okay, now what are we doing? Uh, right. This Examine is the refined the sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Right. And now we examine my DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. And it now? Seems the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. 
Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Now I just need to match the shape. Oops. God damn it. These goddamn controls are really fucking me up. Alright. It's that way, right? I think. Oh! I got it. Whoops. I didn't even mean to, but that works. That should do it. Alright, you wanna... Why do I have to fucking do everything? Just get it! It's ready. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. I don't think it will. Come on, you're good, Bruce. You're good. It's all right. And the veins are disappearing. Or, from visibility, that's... Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. <laughs> she betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. It looks like that. She was playing way the entire Alfred. time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. For all of five seconds. Bruce, <laughs> there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Definitely not, Defense but... tended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Psychopath he or told not. Me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Cool. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come <coughs> work in that cave with you. I mean, hopefully you didn't take a pay cut, yeah. right? He deserves it. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. I mean, and with that, I think we can call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.